Hello everyone. Good morning. Welcome to MDLR Fishing. My name is Mark and today it is super cold. We are going to try to go into the marsh and see if these redfish are still here. It's the tail end of a cold front that's been for about, it's been here for about four days. So not too sure how it's going to play out, but I have caught reds in 40 degree waters. I don't think it's going to be that cold. So hopefully we're going to do good. that just went airborne right over there. We'll keep our eye on that area, see if anything else leads us to believe that there might be a red or a flounder feeding. Uh oh, I think I'm snagged. I'm hung up in a crab. <laughs> well, 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 what do we have here? Mr. Krabs. This, everyone, is known as the blue crab. And uh, it's our first catch of the day. Let's get him off. Let's see if we can get this guy untangled. I'm wasting, like, precious fishing time, dude. There we go. There we go. You go ahead, do whatever you want to do. I'm going to continue fishing. When you're ready to leave the boat, by all means, feel free to do so. Gotcha. Got us a flounder. It's got to be a flounder. On the blind cast, in the calm stuff, that's what I figured I would catch one. very cold and we managed to get this guy he feels pretty big super exciting to know that we're able to catch a fish man this clickbait shrimp has been money lots of oyster along the bank this guy holy moly he's not coming up he doesn't feel like a red but if it's a red, then I'm going to be very surprised. If it's a flounder, I'm going to be super excited. It's got to be a red. There's no way a flounder is going to fight this long. Oh my gosh, it's a red. <laughs> he didn't feel like a red whenever he first hit. Yes! There we go. <laughs> oh, I've got no... No other reaction aside of chuckling because it's hard to fish on days like this. For me, it is. Two years of experience. We're going into the third winter. And being able to just catch fish like this is, well, it's nothing short of amazing for me. That's a keeper right there. Probably about a 21, 22 inch red. And son, Elijah wants some redfish on the half shell so that's what we're gonna do sorry but you're going home let's see just what we're working with 22 and three quarter inch redfish that right there it's just spectacular these guys even when it's cold 54 degree water and that guy still fought like crazy. Keep him tethered to the boga and the kayak. We're gonna continue fishing. I see something up ahead. I don't wanna spook it though. Is that just oyster? 
I don't know. Oh no, those are reds. They gotta be reds. All right, here we go. They're coming at me too. Gots to be. Yep, 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 yep. Big old school of reds. Yes. Oh, I got two of them. Oh, I got two of them. Oh, no. No. One broke off. So that double rig worked, but somehow he broke off. I felt it. Like, I just seriously felt the guy break off. That's all right, because we got this guy. Maybe I use some stronger leader line. I got 20 pound on, but man, the force that these little five pounders can generate has got to be really bad. Bad to where they can pop off our line. Come on. Get over here. You're not going nowhere, buddy. You've been caught. I got gotcha. you. Yes. Phenomenal. I thought it was going to be mullet. I mean, I've been seeing bait all day long. Come back here in this shallow back lake. And we got us another nice size redfish. Welcome to the yellow kayak, buddy. Thank you for playing. I seriously want to thank you on behalf of all the viewers out there. He's got a... Well, he's scarred up. Oh, such a fat. You little fatty. <laughs> Whew, my gosh. Wow. I'm pretty sure we're going to see some more schools as we go in. So let's hurry up and get this fella off. We already got one to keep for the house. And... This guy came off of a, another bug fishing lure. Oh wow, it's way back there. I would have loved to have been able to reel both of them in. That was my hope. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. Okay, that works too, but I'm pretty sure it hurt you really bad. You are seriously tangling everything up. Guy, you gotta chill out with that. We got a thug life redfish right here. This dude plays by prison rules. Now we gotta get him inside the water. Alrighty. Oh, spectacular. That's two keeper reds, probably about a 22 incher right here. Same size as our other fella. Yep, 22. Look at this. Nose against the board, 22 and a half. I want to thank you so much, little guy, for playing. Get out of here. Keep fattening up. Let's go find his buddies. Oh, look at that. Straight over there. Okay, so let's... We got a power pole all the way up, but straight over there. Great blow up. We are in hot pursuit. And if we see anything in between, well then we'll stop as well. Oh yes, right there. Okay. He sees it, he sees it. No, what the heck, dude? Where'd you go, bro? Why? He was going after it again. Look at that, he's making so much mud clouds over there. I don't even know where he's at. It's like Spy Hunter. <laughs> Guy, I just got bamboozled by a redfish. Through so many mud clouds, now he's like a ninja. Can't even see which way he went. Kudos to you. They're so camouflaged perfectly with the mud bottom. Their color is just, man, it's, it's so close to the sandy mud bottom that it's really hard to see them 
you you honestly need like a foot or so at least from the height that I'm standing on the kayak if I had a little bit more height then I could be able to see down a bit further into this marsh water and I'd be able to pick them out at least just see a silhouette of the red going through but when it's this color and it's a bit murky it makes my job kind of hard nevertheless very happy that I was able to find them and at least sight cast one of them. I uh, almost had two, but the guy just, you know, well, y'all saw him. He pulled some freaking Bruce Lee ninja stuff on me. All right, I can see the grass shrimp jumping. It's probably about five or six of those guys. I don't know. I honestly cannot tell, but I do know that they are actively feeding because the bait is jumping. Got one. Gotcha. He feels like a fairly small guy. I still got my eye on the school. Which one did he bite? Front or the back? I think he bit the front one. Bro, seriously, get out from under my kayak. Causing a ruckus. Oh yeah, definitely a keeper red. And that is a limit, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Yeah, he took the front hook. Awesome. Beautiful fish, the bio bait, it's just pulling through, spectacular. I got a tandem rig with some bio bait uh, curl tails, these little grubs. No, come on, man. Get over here, get back up in here. All right, look at that. Just a great redfish all the way around. Look at that, 23 inches long. Another spectacular redfish. So long. That's going to do it for the day, ladies and gents. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for stopping by, clicking on the video. It makes a world of difference to me because without your support and viewing the channel, I wouldn't be out here doing what I love. So thank you so much. Be sure that you come back in a couple of days because we're going to take that redfish and grill it up for some half shell goodness. So uh, you're not going to want to miss it. All right. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.